Hello everyone, this is the last learning objective of chapter 21, learning about chi-square test. In the last video, we learned about t-test. We will be learning more about t-test in chapter 22. But in this learning video, we will be learning, we will be talking about chi-square test. One important uh, point we need to understand that t-test can be used when we have a ratio or interval scale variable. However, chi-square test can be used when we have nominal or ordinal level variable. Okay, so both chi-square test and t-test are the test of difference. That means if one group is different from another group or if one variable is different from a predetermined variable. However, just the difference is t-test is for interval or ratio scale variable and chi-square test is for nominal variable. So in this video, we are talking about univariate chi-square test. We will be talking about bivariate chi-square test in the next learning video. In univariate chi-square test, we basically test that if a frequency distribution is different from an expected frequency, okay? It means that we have an observed frequency we test that if this observed frequency is different from an expected frequency, okay? So look at this example. Um, it's an example of a, a restaurant. It's, I think, uh, taken from a textbook that is known as Papa John's Pizza. Papa John's Pizza, they have the stores located in a standalone location and in shopping centers. They are expecting that the number of stores located in a standalone location and number of stores located in shopping centers are the same. So they surveyed 100 stores and they actually found that 60 stores are located in a standalone location and 40 stores are located in shopping centers. So look at the 60 and 40, these are observed frequency. That's what actually is. However, their expected frequency is these are same. That means the number of stores in a standalone location and number of stores in shopping center are same. So this observed frequency and expected frequency. What we will test is whether they are same. So this is uh, expected frequency 50-50 and 60-40 are the observed frequency as I already mentioned. Now to test this, what we do is we calculate chi-square statistic and chi-square statistic is this observed frequency in a particular cell minus expected frequency squared divided by expected frequency and then we, we sum them up. So look what is this. Uh, this is observed frequency 60 and 40 and this is expected frequency 50 and 50. So in each case what we do is the observed frequency minus expected frequency, then we square and we divide by expected frequency. We get two, and once again, in the similar manner, we get a chi-square uh, statistic that is four. So the way we learned about the t-test, in the same case here, this chi-square statistic will be compared with uh, the critical value, and if this chi-square statistic is higher than the critical value, we will reject the null hypothesis. And if this chi-square statistic is less than the, the critical value, then we will accept the null hypothesis. And if we actually check the, the chi-square table, we will see that this chi-square statistic is actually higher than the, the critical value. So we reject the null hypothesis that uh, the expected frequency they are same is not the observed frequency is not same as the observed frequency of 60 and 40 there because we have seen that number of uh, stores located in the, the standard location and shopping centers are not same okay but i mentioned it once again that uh, this is uh, the calculated chi-square statistic and as i mentioned that we compare it with the critical value, but nowadays the, the statistical software has made this task easier because we need not to compare them anymore. We will simply look at the p-value and if that p-value is 
greater than the significance level, we will accept null hypothesis, and the p-value is less than the significance level, we will reject null hypothesis. So in this chapter, we have learned different statistical analysis, univariate analysis, bivariate analysis, and multivariate analysis. We learned about hypothesis testing, type 1, type 2 error, and one tail, two tail test, and we also learned about chi-square test. Thank you very much.